My favorite animal is the bear. My favorite animal is the tiger. My favorite animal is the elephant. The circus comes to town promising fun and excitement for the whole family. Clowns, acrobats, wild animals performing tricks. From a seemingly safe distance, the audience is invited to marvel at the dominance of the trainers, as well as the apparent cooperation of the animals. In training wild animals, circuses insist they use only positive reinforcement. Despite what they say, there's no way that only positive reinforcement will get what they want out of the animals that they're working with. When the animal doesn't get it fast enough, when the animal doesn't learn what you want it to learn, when your patience runs out, then the positive reinforcement disappears. In romanticizing the relationship between trainer and animals, circuses conceal this basic fact. Wild animals are not suitable for performing. These animals are not and cannot become domesticated. Once the animal is done with a performing routine, if it's an elephant, it goes back into chains. If it's a bear or a big cat, it's going to go back into a cage that hardly allows it room to turn around and walk back and forth a couple of paces. That's where the majority of the animal's life is spent. When you're on the road going from one venue to another, it's in a truck or a boxcar, standing in your own urine and feces, chained one front leg and one back leg, no ventilation, no light, no heat if it's cold, no air conditioning if it's hot. That's where you spend your time if you're a performing animal with a circus. Come on, go ahead. Many of these animals are not even owned by the circus. They're hired out for the season from brokers, dealers, holders, or private individuals. After the end of the long season, animals are stored away for the brief off-season, either at circuses' winter quarters or warehoused until they are rented out again and again. What happens after they're done performing, meaning they get too old or they don't look good or they refuse to do the routine no matter what? What do you do with them? Circuses don't have retirement homes out there for the animals that they, they no longer want. They shuffle them off somewhere else. Some may end up at roadside zoos. Others may be killed at canned hunts or sold at exotic auctions. It's not a pretty end, and it's by no means an end that any animal deserves after, especially working so hard for people for so long. My favorite animal is the bear, and if I was the bear, I would tell the ringmaster to stop burning my feet, because I'm not going to walk, because it's my nature to crawl. My favorite animal is the tiger. And I say, I'm sick and tired of working here. My favorite animal is an elephant, so I'll probably say, Somebody help me. Help me get out of here. I want to go home. I don't want to be here no more. I'm not going to uh, put on costumes anymore and do them tricks because I'd rather let the children see me in the wild than in the circus. Thank you.